Hello, Williamsburg, James City County uh, fifth grade students. This is a clarinet guide for March of the Champions, a little practice guide for the bottom part. So these are people who are playing the bottom part. Make sure you're on the right video. Um, I'll link the higher part up here um, in, in one of those uh, annotation things. Um, good, so if you don't remember which part you're playing, this is gonna be a good assessment uh, for you to see how well you're doing. We're gonna warm up now, again, this is assuming you've already done your mouthpiece and barrel studies, and if you're already on uh, the technique exercises, clarinet exercise number one and number two, those scales, make sure you warm up playing those scales as well. Um, and once you've done that and you're, you're pretty warmed up, then you're going to come to this video and you're going you're gonna to work on March of the Champions. This should be your top priority right now, uh, this week. So we're going to start at the musical jump start, and you can use this right now as a guide um, if you don't know uh, which part it is that you're supposed to be on. So we're going to do number one, uh, number one of the musical jump start. It's called Stately Scale and Undaunted Ostinato. There we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Now, if that was really hard for you, especially the notes G and A, keeping the right hand down as you move up through that, if that was really challenging for you, this is the right video for you because we want to work on that low register and building up the tone, the technique, and uh, success in the lower register before we start branching upwards. Um, now, this is not a bad thing. It does not mean you're a bad player. We need really good players on the bottom part because we need to hear that uh, supporting melody. Um, and this is, this is not about you playing higher or faster or louder than anybody else. This is about you as an individual becoming as successful as possible. What we want is for you to experience success. I'd rather you have three really good sounding notes than five really bad sounding notes. So I'd rather you work on your tone quality, your tone production, and sound really good on three notes. Um, and just play the heck out of those three notes rather than trying to push yourself um, to a place you're not ready for. Just focus on what you can be successful doing on the concert, because that's what your parents want to hear, is you being successful, because that's going to help the rest of the ensemble sound successful. So do what's best for you and what's best for those around you. Now, we're going to do number two now. Make sure you're playing the bottom part. Number two, this is going to be a great tone study and tone warp. It's called Heroic Harmonies. Uh, one, two, number two. Good. Now we're going to go into the piece and we're going to break it up into a couple simple sections. We're going to do what we call chunking. Now what is chunking? Chunking is essentially taking small chunks of the music building up those parts, then slowly building bigger chunks until eventually the whole piece is learned. Just learn small parts. You don't need to just keep running through the entire piece all the time. Just practice some small chunks. And this piece gives you every single small chunks in a giant box with a number in it. We call that a rehearsal mark, a rehearsal marking. We're gonna stop, start at number 11. Remember, we're playing the bottom part. So we're gonna play number 11, the bottom part, 11 to 19. Uh, keep looping this and do this as many times as you need to until you can really play it confidently. Number 11. Uh, one, two, eleven. Ready? <laughs> Good. 
Do that as many times as you need to. I'll try to put timestamps in the bottom for each and every chunk. Now we're gonna go to the beginning, play the beginning chunk, and then we're gonna combine those two chunks together. Beginning, remember you don't play the first two measures. Two, ready, measure one is one. Two, dun, 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 dun. Good. Now we're going to play the beginning all the way till 19. Make sure that beginning is solid and you're playing right with me, releasing when you need to. Beginning to 19. Here we go. One, two, beginning. Ready and measure. One. Dun, 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 dun. Good, and that should put us right at measure 19. 19. We're going to play measure 19 to 23 now. 19 to 23. Here we go. Uh, one, two, one. Do that as many times as you need to. Now we're going to play 11 through 23. So we're combining those two chunks together. Here we go. 11, two, ready. Now, we're going to do the final, uh, one of the final two sections, measure 23. We're going to play the pickup to 23. Now, the pickup, uh, if you put your finger now on 23, put your finger down on 23, and go back one beat, which is two eighth notes, where you see the little MF, and then you see the note, what note is that? C, and then we move up to G, and then on 23, the downbeat, we play D. So we're gonna practice playing that pickup. So what it'll be is it'll be one, two, breathe, four, and one. Or in other words, one, two, breathe, C, G, D. Let's practice that first before we play this section. One, two. One more time. Uh, one, two. Good, now we're going to play pickups from 23 all the way up till 27. Here we go. One, two, uh, one, two. Good, now we're going to play 19 to 27. 19 to 27. Here we go. One, two, ready, 19 is one.
Now the only section that's left, the only section that's left to do is 27 to the end. So we're going to play 27 to the end. Remember, you don't play on the first beat. 27 to the end. Uh, one, two, three, four. Good. Now the only thing left to do is to do a run through of the whole piece. Now I want you right now to go ahead and make sure that every single chunk is good on its own. Go down to the description, check every single chunk, check the timestamps, go to the timestamps, play them with me as many times as you need to until they're really, really solid and you know what it sounds like. Now we're gonna play the beginning to the end. This is assuming you've already worked on every chunk and you're really solid at every single chunk. So now we're gonna play the beginning to the end. We call this a run through of the entire piece. This is level one, by the way. There's gonna be three levels on this. Level one is 72 beats per minute on the metronome. Number two is gonna be 92 beats per minute on the metronome, which is ironically the same tempo that we need to have at measure 27. And then finally, we're gonna to go to 112, which is our goal tempo is to play the whole thing at 112. So after you finish this video, if you feel really confident about it, you can go ahead and try to move on to one of the faster tempos. All right, beginning. Uh, one, two, ready, measure, one, done. Dun 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 Good. Happy practicing and I hope this helps.